Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, and it's been one heck of a big day all around. It's been a big day for stocks. We saw a huge drop in oil, a big drop in Asia, again, a drop in stocks, and also a drop in my sickness, almost there. And you also know what that means, right? It's time for us to take a big gulp of booze because it's nearly four o'clock. The markets, they're about to close. It's a Wednesday and it's a much needed happy hour here in New York City. U.S. stocks trying to stage somewhat of a recovery this Wednesday afternoon over at the big board. This following sharp declines earlier, well, more than 550 points to be more exact, as traders defeated or defended technical levels and as biotechs continued to rally. Now first, on the U.S. economic front, December CPI showing a 0.1% decline, building permits falling 3.9% in December, and housing starts falling 2.5%, but the seasonally adjusted annual pace remaining just above 1 million. At the same time, oil prices making all the waves today, settling down $1.91 or 6.71% lower today at $26.55 a barrel. Crude is below $27 a barrel, therefore hitting its lowest level since May. 2003. Now you team that with a huge sell-off in Asian and European stocks overnight, a lower U.S. dollar and gold rising on risk aversion, then you have yourself a session right now where nine stocks are in the red for every advancer over at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's take a look now to see how the markets have been shaping up to close out this very volatile trading session. And on the corporate front, Netflix also turning higher in afternoon trade and Apple pairing earlier losses to hold about 1% lower. While on the financials front, Goldman Sachs reporting earnings that beat expectations on both lines. However, profit falling for a third straight quarter. And with that, kick back, relax, stay warm, and hopefully I'll feel even better tomorrow. And hopefully the markets will, will recover as well, right? From ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Sweeney.